I feel honestly quite uh, embarrassed by it. Everything's sort of where it shouldn't be. <laughs> what can you do when your home is more shabby than chic? When the thought of guests makes you want to move? Whenever people come in, I kind of back into this room and try and hide as much of this mess as possible. And you'd rather throw out and spend than make do and mend. I think bland is an incredibly nice way of putting it. Yeah. Fortunately, the solution is at hand. We're helping people make their houses into homes, going from battered and bruised to hale and heartfelt, with a little bit of vintage inspiration, their own bare hands, and that little bit of extra homemade magic. I'm teaching them and you how to reuse, recycle, ditch the factory made for the homemade, and delve deep for vintage finds. Who needs the new when you can rediscover the old? And it's all happening here. For six weeks, this workshop on London's Portobello Road is my vintage home. Crammed with designers and crafters, it's my one-stop dream shop for making everything handmade and homespun. It doesn't matter too much about finger marks. It's made by the hand. Some finger marks. We're turning unloved items into modern day heirlooms. If we weren't painting these, where would they end up? Probably landfill. Landfill. Transforming crafting novices into devoted homemakers. Are all your students as fast learners as me, Lisa? I wish they were, Colin. I wish they were. <laughs> and showing you everything you need to make your house a vintage home. Oh, wow. This week, I'm bringing Janine and Sean Cartwright to my vintage workshop. Their house is a disaster zone and they need to make a change. Managing her three sons and husband Sean has left Janine Cartwright a little tired. She's struggling to keep their bedroom the romantic haven she'd like it to be, and the playroom is more anarchy room than anything else. We argue a lot about it, don't we? Yeah. It's making me very sad. They need desperate measures and sweeping changes. It's a whole different ball game, this bedroom, isn't it? It's beautiful. All that hard work can be great fun too. Don't be afraid to learn as you go along. Decorating anything can be a great opportunity to learn new skills. And the sense of satisfaction is overwhelming. I know Sean wants to learn carpentry, so I've lined up an expert called Anselm Fraser. He runs the Chippendale School of Furniture in Edinburgh. He's giving Janine and Sean a woodwork masterclass. Together, they'll build a pine treasure chest for the family playroom to store the boys' toys in. You see, I've always got pencils here, in case I break one. Since you are a professional, it's gonna go, it's gonna go in under here, okay? Thank you. There you go. After drawing up an accurate design, mark up each separate section of the wood you're going to use. One tip that I want to give you is not to cut your thumb off or whatever. We just don't want a mess on our beautiful wood. Definitely not. If you're not feeling this confident, take your design to a timber merchant who will trim the wood for you. Once cut, it's like a 3D jigsaw puzzle. Do a trial assembly and mark up which bit goes where. It's an important design factor. Decide which is the front and which is the back. That looks like the back to me because it's got a, a knot in the top. No, I quite like that. We're using wooden pegs to be more traditional. Mark up where you're going to drill with dividers or, failing that, a ruler. This is a stepped drill. Oh that has been made specially to match the pegs. Anselm offers one-to-one -one tuition, but there are less specialised courses across the country where you can learn the basics, like getting to know your hand tools and cutting simple joints. Natural. Complete natural. With the holes drilled, use wood glue during the final assembly of the box. Now you're ready to hammer those pegs in. Ram it in. A good hammer face. Come on, Sean. <laughs> yeah, feels good. To make cheap hinges look aged, use a bit of sandpaper and brush with blackboard paint. 
Oh wow! So nice. Have something that we've yeah. made. Nice. That's isn't it? amazing. This box will be painted up to fit in with the colour scheme of the playroom. Practical, bespoke, but above all, beautiful. It's absolutely superb. I'm loving it. <laughs>